here with Keith, Welling United women's manager. How are you today? Hot. <laughs> But, yeah, great, great, great to be out in decent weather. I'd rather train in this weather than uh, freezing cold. Yeah. So, first of all, congratulations on uh, on getting the appointment. How did that all come about? Uh, initially, um, I, I finished a role with Car Shorten Athletic Men's Team in in the Ithmian Prem, and uh, I kind of put myself out on social media, thinking my weekends would be free, uh, apart from coach education work that I do for the FA, and. Uh, the first contact, ironically, was from a couple of the players that are behind us, that uh, were Centre of Excellence players way back in the day at Charlton, and they contacted my wife on social media and just said, do you think Keith would consider coming down and, and working with us? And uh, how excited are you to be coming back into the women's game as well? Because I know you're a massive advocate for it, as, uh, as it's still growing rapidly now. Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, obviously work to the levels that I have, this was a... A daunting prospect, if I'm honest. It's, it's like, you know, it's a lower level. But um, when I first came and met the girls straight away, I thought, wow, this is a decent group. Uh, and while you've got players that you believe you can work with and you can see, want to learn and want to be better, that's always going to excite you. But the women's game in general obviously has moved on so much. You've got Euros right now. Um, watching those games, I've always kept in touch with the WSL and the Championship. Obviously, spent a bit of time back at Charlton last season. Um, so yeah, it's I'm a coach. Um, so women's men's game is, is irrelevant, but the women's game, of course, is a passion and has been a vocation of mine for 20 odd years. So yeah, it's great to be back involved. What sort of segues into the next session? Um, you said obviously you had the contact and obviously Welling's growing a lot this year it's, it's becoming more of a, a club that's going to be won how does that how, how happy are you with that being said and what kind of things do you expect from the club to grow especially in the women's section but as, as in general as well I think it's massive and if I didn't uh, have that conversation and, and believe what they were saying I wouldn't have entertained it not just for the sake of, of working with the girls it's more about the club and the way they approach it and I know they've looked at Lewis as a model and that's a far an advanced model to where we're at right now but you know, if the board are as serious as they've said then we'll go in the right direction and we should get there very quickly it's massively important that the club incorporates the whole program because it leads to a better community feel it leads to a better club ethos throughout and uh, I think they recognize that that it builds relationships throughout the club itself and brings in more supporters from from other areas so the supporters of these girls will go to the men's game and hopefully vice versa That's good. Um, just as well you're a few weeks now into your program aren't you of your of your pre-season is this the second or the third week this about? is week two officially so we did it uh, no, week three, week three. We did uh, trial days on, on the Tuesday and Thursday when I first came in. Um, they'd already had a trial previously. We did a couple more trial days just after I'd been announced just to see if we could pick up a couple more players. And then we did Sunday with Jeff behind us, the S&C coach, and, and they were still suffering come Wednesday. We trained Wednesday last week, they were still suffering. Um, but yeah, he's back today. Uh, we've got a couple more trainings during next week and our first friendly next Sunday. With your first friendly coming up, uh, it's Bromley FC, I take it? No, it's um, Ashford, Middlesex, okay. which is again coached by an old, uh, an old colleague. Ashford are old a really friend. good side, they've had back-to-back -back promotions. Is that something you want to mirror? Absolutely. That, for me, that's a no-brainer. No, again, no point in me being here if we're not aiming high. You know, the, the one thing I'll always promise players, and I've already said it to these, is if you, you come and play for us, I'm going to say me because it's us, then you will 100% become a better player if you apply yourself and you listen and you learn. Yeah, if they do that, guaranteed for me. So you've talk, just touched on that a little bit there. What, what, what is your ethos of, of the Welling United women's way? Um, and how do you, as a coach, want to try and attract people here? What is the, the biggest thing you could say if you were to attract a new player? Uh, what's, the, you know, what's the biggest thing you could offer? I think it's values that I've applied throughout my career. Obviously, it's a long career at international level and, and club level with, with elite performers. And it doesn't matter what level you're at. The one message I've given the girls here is my expectations will be high. What they will be is realistic in line with where they're at at the moment. But they don't aim high, they're going to they're gonna fall down anyway, so it will be a combination of, of mutual respect, effort, 
and more so just like as I said before applying themselves to whatever we do and I'm very conscious that I've got to be patient and I think throughout the years it's something I've learned I probably wasn't as a young coach so uh, no, it's, it's, at the moment I'm still finding out where they're at but I'm really pleased so far with their attitude and um, just to touch on hopefully you can you can um expand on this season objectives have you got any what are you looking at in this division um, and things like that I've looked at some of the clubs that, that are within this league and I, I was part of the uh, the AGM meeting the other night it was interesting to see there's there's even there's even a, a disparity with the teams within this league in, in organisation and facilities and resources so for me it's going to be a fact finding mission as we go along but targets wise like, like we said I'm, I'm looking at promotion I, I can't look at anything less but it will be uh, a case of me of priorities making sure the girls are enjoying the environment and they want to come training they're looking forward to match day and they're given 100% in every game and every training session if we do that I'm convinced we'll achieve what we need to achieve thank you very much Keith I hope you enjoy the season I hope to catch up with you very soon you're welcome and good luck to you